All right. Who's ready for more Yuffie? I didn't expect to be so ready for more Yuffie, but I can also promise that there will be a lot less Fort Condor this time. Mostly because, pretty sure I finished that quest line. I don't think that there is more Fort Condor until I, uh, until I beat the story and can do hard mode. Uh, but, uh, you're ready for more Yuffie. Well, thank God for that. Uh, so, more than ever today, please let me know how my audio sounds because... I had to put the air conditioning on, so, uh, the air conditioning's loud, which means I had to turn up the TV to be even louder, so there's probably going to be at least some level of, like, my speakers bleeding through to the microphone, uh, and there's going to be some level of, uh, there's just nothing I can do about it. God damn it. Oh my god, I can't get my webcam right. <laughs> but, um, if it's, like, really bad, then let me know. If, there, if it's just, like, a very small echo, nothing I can do. I'm very sorry. But if it's, like, literally it sounds like you're just hearing the audio twice, that shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening. We should fix that. Uh, so, I must ask, did I miss anything from the second half of the, str of the stream? So, uh, nothing very important, I would say. Uh, there's a lot of Fort Condor. A lot of Fort Condor. <laughs> uh, and there was some story stuff, but nothing actually mission critical um i'm actually going to load a very slightly before where we got to save uh so that we can uh watch the be the beginning of chapter two again so you should get everything you uh everything important that you missed uh, and so specific, we're gonna, I'm gonna load this save, cause it's, yeah, about 13 minutes before. So we'll get the, we'll get the big cutscene that we ended on. Uh, there was a boss fight, there was a whole gameplay section, a cool gameplay section. Stuff that is, I would say, worth seeing, but nothing that you're going to need. So, the important part is that at the end of that whole gameplay section and boss fight, Yuffie got a, oh, did I save before or after getting that summon materia? I sure hope it was after. Oh god, it was it was before. Oh no, I don't have the summon materia. Okay, new plan. We're going to watch the cutscene and then go manually load the the save where I have the summon materia. <laughs> uh so, uh the the relatively important stuff that you're that you did uh won't get to see right now is that uh, Yuffie and Sonon got uh, ID cards to... Uh, yes, we did lose the cloak. Uh, that was like a hilariously over-the-top moment, and I cannot recommend seeing it enough. Assuming you somehow got your hands on a PS5, I sure did. Um, it was a... a if you're looking for a PS5, I would recommend going for the, the Sony's PlayStation Direct. That's the way I got mine. Uh, I also uh, so I also accidentally got a second one while uh, because a friend sent me like Walmart's website saying oh Walmart's doing a drop today and I was like Walmart's not a reliable way to do it dude and I just I tried it just to pro make prove it prove it to him make a point and then I got a second one so I sold my second one to my roommate my old roommate he's not my roommate now um, but yeah so uh, and also uh, some. Some people uh, on Twitter may or may not approve of seeing a PS5 exclusive on a Nintendo stream. But let's just have some fun now and then. So, the important parts from yesterday. Yuffie and Sonon got their fake IDs to get into uh, Shinra headquarters. And Yuffie's ID has her real name on it. Probably not a good idea. Oh well. And uh, Shinra appears to realize that Avalanche was, headed, was uh, headquartered here. So th this is where like our base of operations was. So now, s s s starting to go down. <laughs> so now we are on our way to Shinra HQ to find their to steal their ultimate materia. Also, we played Fort Condor with Jesse, which is pretty cool. We also played Fort Condor with Shinra Middle Manager. But you know what? Neither Jesse nor the Shinra middle manager matter. Because we also played Fort Condor with Roche. Why do you hide from me, my friend? The two of us had a deal! 
as sons of the saddle. Roche, I love you more than life itself. Uh, is Fort Condor still bad? No. Turns out the biggest thing. That, well, so I I didn't really engage with Fort Condor enough in the in the original to actually know for sure how it plays. So maybe they just drastically changed it completely, and I would never know. Uh, but the biggest thing they did was they put a three minute cap on <laughs> on uh, on rounds of Fort Condor, which is a massive improvement. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, we, we streamed this DLC for about six hours the other night. Two hours and ten minutes of that stream were just Fort Condor. Uh, also, like I said, uh, just, uh, just as people are starting to trickle in. Today, more than ever, just please let me know how the audio is, uh, because I had to turn on my air conditioning. Air conditioning's loud, meaning I had to turn up the TV a little louder. So... To some extent, there will be uh, an echo as the sound from my speakers bleeds into the microphone. A little bit of that is going to be unavoidable. What you so what you should not be hearing is it should not sound like the audio is basically playing twice. Uh, so just let me know if it's if it sounds bad, and I will do whatever I can to make it sound better. Boss. I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon, so make sure you're ready for anything, okay? I think we're good here. Let's roll. So ba basically what I want to make sure is I want to make sure you guys can hear me, and I want to make sure you guys can hear the in-game dialogue. And I want it to all sound good and not like a terrible cacophony. What's with all these people? Due to the recent incident at Mako Reactor 5, only a limited number of trains are currently in service. Please note that the Sector 5 Undercity Station is closed until further notice. Thank you. Shh. This winter cell's done its best to make things hard for you. Miss this train, there's no telling when the next will be. That line of dialogue was actually like. Looks like it's now or never, guys. Oh my god, I keep forgetting about Billy Bob. Some of the dialogue, though, is actually mixed really quiet. Like for some reason, the, like the NPC dialogue in the surround speakers, which are like literally right behind me, there's one right there, uh, are really loud, <laughs> and I don't know why. Uh, uh, oh boy. <laughs> so when they say the Splinter Cell, they're referring to uh, Barrett, Jesse, Biggs, and Wedge. Uh, remake did uh, a plot detail where they are actually from like an offshoot of Avalanche that were considered to be extremists. Belfry always got motion sick. Chocobos, boats. I'm sure trains would have done it too. Who is Melfi? My sister. She trained under your father at the same time as me. And she had such promise. Had? The war was ending. But a Shinra mech went haywire near a crowd. She had to do something. I don't know how much, like, the war with Wutai is part of the original FF7. Because until until I started playing Remake, I didn't even realize that there were, like, these deep-seated tensions with Wutai. They do. But I'm not your sister. Like, when I started playing Re Remake, people, like, were, like thought that the, uh, the reactor bombing at the start of the game was, was Wutai terrorists. And I'm like, where's that coming from? I skipped Wu Tai. I am jealous of you. Please, Mr. The Wu Tai side quest is why I hated Yuffie so much in the original. No begging. The Sector Seven Undercity is home to more than fifty thousand. Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. But Wu Tai is like a big deal in remake, though. Like they talk about it constantly, and like when. Uh, when you're in the the sector five reactor Progress for that mission, uh, like 
uh, President Shinra se like says on TV that it's like he broadcasts uh, propaganda claiming that you were working with Wu Tai, and it's like I don't I don't remember this from the original FF Seven. I don't know if it's from the greater compilation, like if it's in like Crisis Core and all that stuff with uh, the with the uh, the books and everything. Oh, the music and remakes fantastic. Like, easily, undoubtedly, the best soundtrack of 2020. And then this DLC is, like, kind of hilarious in a way with, with regards to its music. It feels like the music is just wild and sometimes ridiculous, and I kind of like it. It feels like they made a conscious choice to make a lot of the music in this DLC, uh stuff that doesn't fit into FF7 at all. And, like, I actually kind of love it. Like, one of the first fights you have in the game, the background music for that fight is, like, this crazy screamo piece. Also, for those of you just joining us, uh, I'm replaying this for the benefit of anyone that didn't get to see Thursday's stream. Uh, but I've seen this whole cutscene before. That's why I'm not really reacting to it. But I'll try not to interrupt it. Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm? Huh? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> but oh, how the mighty are fallen. Wu Tai colluding with Avalanche and resorting to terrorism. I always thought the Wu Taians an honorable people. They used to be, certainly. But now, now they're nothing but blood-sucking flies buzzing around Shinra's face. Also, a dialogue scene like this is a good time. Just let me know how the sound is. Would you not agree? In light of recent events, I mean. I would. 100%. Cool, thank you. <laughs> what a lovely smile. You got played, Yuffie. <laughs> also, I love how petty Scarlet is here. Like, she could just shoot them on the spot, but instead she's like, Nah, I'll trap you guys and just send you to be our test subjects. That was Scarlet, Director of Advanced Weaponry. It was one of her machines that killed Melfi. Calm down, Sonan. Calm down. Remember. I know it's the best part about reason. her. Right, boss. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was ready to strangle her myself. And that's before she sent us off in the wrong direction. Where did she send us? One way to find out. Are we going to Hojo's Don't lab? Worry. We'll get to materia research eventually. Oh god damn it, we're going to Hojo's lab. My precious. Whew. Okay. So this is the exact spot that the stream ended on Thursday, so I'm going to load that save file where I have the summon materia. Sleeve is all kind of weird. I don't know. I have wondered that for as long as I have been aware of, of Yuffie. I wish I understood what it was. I kind of, like, for a little while I was like, oh, that slot looks like it's a Materia slot. But it's, like, it's, there's no Materia in there. In Remake, you can actually see the Materia. Oh yeah, the load time. Let me just, like, actually, before we begin properly, let me just show off the ro load time. I'm gonna go all the way back to the title screen. And, you know what, just for fun, I'm just gonna load my regular save file here. And here we are. And I also specifically wanted to come here to show off how this game was blatantly never supposed to be in 60 frames per second, because the outside of this train is in 30 frames per second, and so is, like, the lights shining through the windows. 
and now we'll go back to the title screen and load up the DLC. Um, people have, like, I've seen arguments on Twitter about, like, whether games look next-gen or something. Like, I've seen arguments that Ratchet, the new Ratchet & Clank doesn't look next-gen. But for me, this solid-state drive with no load times whatsoever, that is the, uh, that is the real next-gen. Uh, almost like DVD Smith showing off the PS5 load times with Spider-Man. Yeah, though, that was also really crazy, how you can, like... You open up that game and the entire New York City uh, map just loads up in like two seconds. Okay, so let me make sure my summon materia is equipped. It sure is. Um, okay, you don't, you can't also equip it, but you don't really need summon materia because I'm always gonna be Yuffie. Um, what, do I wanna give you something else? Prayer, you have chakra. I don't know, I guess I'll give you prayer and chakra just so that I don't have to worry about you too much because I can't directly control you. Um, I'm not using steel. Maybe I sh should I unequip steel because I'm not using it? I don't know, what alternatives do I have? I don't really feel like I have anything I want to replace it with, especially instant death. <sighs> and if I know anything, oh, it's... wait, I was used subversive. I'm confused. What is subversive? It doesn't ex really explain what this is. Load time count to three. Bam, all loaded. Yup. So also something. Uh, my prediction. Uh, is Sonon's gonna be dead by the end of this DLC because he's not in the rest of FF7. Uh, I guess we'll use this bench just in case. So, since he's not in the rest of FF7, I mean, at least the whole graphics race is plateauing even harder, so consoles are going for load time. Yeah, so, because there's diminishing returns on just raw, like, looks for graphics, um, I don't want to actually go where it wants me to first. I want to explore. Oh, I can't get in there anyway. So, like, si since there's diminishing terms for just, like, raw graphics and how everything looks, that means we're, like, going to start focusing on the stuff that, like, will really, really make a difference. Like, getting every game to, like, making 60 frames per second the, the standard and, um, oh, God, this is Hojo's lab. And also, like, getting those load times down. Yes, look at this place. Weapons here, weapons there, weapons everywhere. They're ready for some serious action. Duh. Unlike my old man, I'm not some crazy drunk. I fight for what I believe in. Something yeah, yeah. you never understand. Wonder how he's holding up. Behind bars, you mean? Not well, but the government's got anything to say about it. Good on him. Jail's where he belongs. What's my master you're talking about? Mind laying off him a little? You know what? Let's drop it. Not exactly my favorite topic. It's only gonna make me mad. More important. My god, you people are deadly boring. Was Yuffie's father in the original? Just don't go dying on me. That would be very interesting results to you get. Calibration complete. Initiating combat data collection sequence. Like, I can't remember if the like, Yuffie's father is ever mentioned in uh, the original FF7. Uh, I'm gonna guess this sweeper is weak to electricity, but I'm going to assess it just to be safe. Uh, it sure is. Okay. Hey, so on. You wanna just like help me out here? <laughs> Uh, now the TV might be too loud. Okay. Get lost. So let's get our electricity up. Wanna beg for mercy? At least put up a fight. Now we'll do. Wait, no, no, no. Synergized Art of War on the sweeper. Don't let him know. <laughs> I should have got closer to it. That was a complete waste of ATP. Uh, 
Sun on. Use Swirling Storm on the Sweeper. Kind of just want to focus on the Sweeper. Now. Let's see. Thunderous Banishment on Sweeper. So I was saying this in uh, in the first stream that I did for the DLC. I really love the way that this game handles like the ATV system with, with the combination of the real-time combat that frankly doesn't do a lot of damage overall. But you're really doing it to build up stagger and uh, ATB. And then you do like tw uh, the ATB moves are the ones that actually do the real damage. Uh, that is a system that I think is really incredibly interesting and compelling. And it feels like a way to make uh, like still keep to the heart of how the, the turn-based combat works while also feeling like something new and unique. I think it's a really good system. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So the uh, assuming a bolt weakness was is, is definitely the right move. But it's also like if if I use assess, then I can get more of like the combat hits from the assess screen. Also, Yuffie's kit is a DLC kit if I've ever seen one, because like man, she's almost too powerful. I wonder if they're gonna nerf her in the in the main game when uh, for part two. Where is this move? Okay. I don't think I've used assess on these guys yet. Because I also want them in my monster log. Oh, alright, I upgraded it so I can get everything at once. Okay. So, electricity still the right move. Synergize, Synergize Windstorm. Okay. Ah, shit, it's technically a different fight, so I don't have my electricity on. Damn it. Uh. Zone on energy. And then we'll get our electricity back. Oh shit, I'm almost dead. Uh, I need ATV. God damn it, I took Chakra off her. Okay. Okay. Uh, almost because something in this story to facilitate her getting massively nerfed when she joins me. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously she won't have synergy with Sonon, but. Leave and go right into Hojo's lab. She knows damn well it's gonna be a pain in the ass getting up there. Honestly, how do I do it? Now then, Sonon, how you feel about giving me a boost? Ecstatic. You know, Yuffie, I don't know if this was as much of a pain of the ass as you said it would be. And go. Did I say pain of the ass? Pain in the ass. Okay, get to climbing. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I missed anything. This cutscene was also in Madam Director, the main game. The intruders are about to reach the research facility. And we'll let them. Meanwhile, find out what it is they want. No, this you do have No, this cutscene isn't in the main game. I'm thinking they of one later. See that while they are simpletons, they've made it further than any normal Wutaian ever could. Ninjas. Teenage ninjas. And they've come such a long way. We simply must roll out the red carpet. More villains need to be as My over the top and cartoon as Garland. Welcome, I think. Keep me apprised, would you? Ma'am, 
Cut system power to the research facility. Bar access to confidential data. Then retrace their steps. Find out why they're here. Above all, do good morning, Edward Bobo. Welcome, sir. I don't know uh, how how am I doing today? A little tired. Don't know why I keep doing morning streams, but. I know Ubisoft's doing their E3 thing today, uh, mm -hmm. which the big news already leaked, but... End of the line, we'll type gum. Oh god, what were I think you guys were weak to ice. God damn it, god damn it, I need to learn to, to guard. Uh... Fire. Oh, I thought these guys were like weird mutants that weren't weak to fire. Uh, let me actually read their thing. Okay. Uh, they evade all standard attacks except when they are attacking or knocked on their, off their feet. Hitting them with fire attacks and they are staggered and detonated. Vulnerable parts of their suits inflict like okay. Well, I gotta stagger them first. Uh, uh, oh, Brumal Form is a really cool move, by the way. It, it, it costs an ATB gate, uh, bar to dodge, but if you do it successfully, then you finish with more ATB than you started. It's really cool. This their idea of mood lighting? Because it's bad. Might be the power. That thing's off, too. Uh, you see a monster is at work trailer from Disney+. Plus. Cuphead clip from Netflix. I also saw the Castlevania sh uh, show announced, the, the new season. Uh, I have not watched that yet, been meaning to, but we're finally getting to Rondo of Blood, uh, which is my personal favorite Castlevania. Uh, I've only played three Castlevania games, so don't take my word to mean much, but I love Rondo. I love Richter and Maria, so I'm really excited for that. Uh, we'll probably watch that show soon. Talk about hitting the jackpot. That's the time Oh no, you feel this place is connected with Castle. Oh my god. <clears throat> At least Yuffie's not saying she can literally actually smell the materia. Oh god, it's Nomura. He wrote this too. Oh my god. Please don't tell me Yuffie can actually literally smell the materia. Initiating Mako energy saturation. Deploying security grid. I'm sorry, I got a message right as that cuts as that uh, little cutscene was started, so I'm, I, it was clearly telling me what I have to do next, and I missed it. <laughs> uh, belt zippers and smelly things that really shouldn't have a scent. I hope that last one isn't uh, a consistent trend in his work. Access denied. No floor is currently accessible. Oh, not in the mood, huh? Fine, we'll find another way up. Oh god, I'm sorry I missed that little mini cutscene that was clearly telegraphing what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I can just take this material. Uh, Richter Belmont one. Is is Rondo a blood on the on the Genesis Mini? I know or oh. Which version is it on the Genesis Mini? Is it like the actual version of Rondo of Blood, or is it Dracula X? Because uh, I know that for a long time, the only version of Rondo of Blood that was released in the West was a really, really bad port kind of thing. Uh, so the the actual Rondo of Blood, the one that is uh, in the collection on PlayStation, uh, that's the one that I'm like, yeah, this is one of my favorite. This is, my, this is my favorite Castlevania of the, the three that I've played. Nin what the hell is Ninja Cannonball? How does you perform Ninja Cannonball while synergized? 
Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not really using steel, so let's let's put Ninja Cannonball on. It's going to be a spin-off from an episode of season three. Interesting. There's actual risk. Wasn't the Wii Virtual Console release also like the bad one? I, I don't know. I wasn't a Castlevania fan at the time, so. Oh God. <clears throat> Okay, where's want me to go? Did I do what I need to do yet? Oh, okay. not in the mood, huh? oh, 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 okay, I see now. I see now. I gotta get I gotta use that. So how do I get up on here? Okay. Wait, is that a security grate or a ladder? Thanks, Shinra. Alright. Oh god, she can actually smell materia. She can act okay. Did this have to happen the same week as us finishing Chain of Memories? Did it have to be like this? Is this my curse? Is this my fault? Am I am I the one that made this happen? Rondo Blood has an SNES remake, Dracula X. A lot of problems. Yeah, that's the one I've heard of. Uh But so the so the um, the Rondo, or the, I guess the Richter season is going to be a spinoff of an episode of season three of Castlevania. So I have not watched the show, so I'm not really sure how that works out. But I do know that like I saw that it's going to take place in like the exact year that Rondo of Blood takes place. So what am I doing? Ribbon, ribbon. Uh, no, I'm good without that. I think you've got a spare materia slot. Uh, I'll give you... I guess I'll give you, I guess I'll give you subver subversion just so I can figure out what the hell it does. I don't know. Oh, you don't have one of these yet. Uh... Maybe power wrist guards. Okay. Actually, I should make sure that UP's equipment is all still the strongest stuff I have. Uh, oh, I haven't been using banishment enough to get proficiency. Uh, okay, still don't really have any stronger stuff. And you still don't have proficiency on this. Uh, the the main struggle that I'm having with this DLC is that um, it's one of those DLC that kind of expects you to still be just as proficient at the game as you were the last like at the end of it, and I haven't I haven't really played in a full year, so I feel like I am not giving this game my best. Is it? Oh, other side. Okay. I just happened to come up that way, so I got confused. Makes sense. You go to the Genesis Mini website, you can look on the manuals for the games. Bloodlines, too. Like the carriage numbers. Okay, yeah, Castlevania has a lot of deep lore that I'm not familiar with, unfortunately. And I think uh, the middle of a Final Fantasy stream probably isn't the most productive time for me to try to figure it out. But I should, I should play more Castlevania. Oh, Volant Armlet. That's new. Um, oh. That is a that is only one materia slot. Triples amount of AP earned. Don't think it's worth. Not worth. Yeah, not worth unless I'm grinding. I mean you can keep talking about Castlevania, it's fine. It's just it's something that I don't have a ton of context for. Uh, okay. I, I know they're probably weak to fire, but let's still assess. Okay. Hitting them with physical attacks and blocking theirs will make them susceptible to staggering. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I'm really low on health. Uh, okay, now I'm not so low on health. Uh, okay, I'll put on fire and so on. Damn it, he's too ATP price. What are you waiting for? You know, I'm just gonna hit him with fire. Uh, let's synergize Windstorm. Well, I can't fault him for trying. Uh, is there anything else over here? No, it doesn't look to me. Recommend give Aria of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow a shot. Uh, yeah, so my, uh, it is my intention to, like, go and play, like, a lot of Castlevania games. Uh, I think, uh, so I really like Rondo of Blood, so I, I want to get the most out of, like, the classic Castlevania series. Uh, so I'm probably going to play Super Castlevania 4. And then, uh... And then I guess it'll be time to move on to the Egovania stuff. So that'll be, uh, like, all the, the DS games and everything. Uh, Symphony, Symphony of the Night, I didn't really like that much. But uh, it's probably just because it was, like, the first of its kind. So it just needed some time to... What the hell is this? So it just, probably just needed some time to really work on... Uh, for the series to really figure itself out. So I think... Um, Okay, has no weaknesses. While their cores explode, they will exposed. They will unleash a powerful pulse laser, destroying or stealing the core. Will weaken and render them susceptible to staggering. Oops! She just took off steel. Okay, so on. Use that. Uh, I think Swirling Storm is the one that we need to get the pressure in. So let's pop it on. Bring it on. Okay, pulse laser. That's the one. Uh, Art of War. Oh, I think I need to have, uh, an element equipped for management. Oh, no, I don't necessarily. Okay. Okay, so now this is another assess. Uh, still weaknesses, fire and magic attacks rapidly fill their stagger. Okay, so, but he's almost dead, so it really Damn it, why did I not use Cura? I'm such an idiot. Oh, it's a waste of MP. Uh, I got a clip for the Sony Netflix movie, The Wishing Dragon. I don't, uh, combining the movie synopsis, Kung Fu Panda. Original classic Aladdin. Interesting. I'm not familiar with Wishing Dragon, so I'll need to check that out. Uh, okay, so that door. What the fuck? That looks like a thing I'm gonna have to fight. Wait. Hold on, is that the thing from the end of, from when you return to Midgar at the end of FF7? Also, the, the smoke particle effects down there are only in 30 frames per second. Like, here, let me swap over to 30 frames per second. It'll probably look more natural. Yep, that does look more natural. But I don't like 30 frames per second nearly as much. It doesn't look right. <laughs> so we're going back to 60 frames per second. Yeah, it might be, yeah. Um, I know I have to hit that terminal, but is there anything else that I want to uh, explore around a little bit? Does this, like, activate the elevator? Because there was a bench down there that I might want to hit. 
Mr. PS5 good frame rate over here. Oh, yeah, activate. Okay. Frame rate's more important than graphics. Although I wish there was an option just to make specifically cutscenes 30 FPS, like Yakuza Zero has on PC, because I think making cutscenes cinematic, like legitimately cinematic with a lower frame rate, kind of does matter. Entry lock released. I have a I have a complicated feeling on frame rates. Uh, I think just in case, no, it's too far. I'm not going to bother with the bench. But yeah, my feelings on frame rate is like, I don't think that you can just say one thing and it's like the ultimate answer for what your frame rates should be. Uh, I think that the thing about, I think that inherently, identity confirmed. uh, access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. God damn it. Proceed to gate to begin training exercise. No sonar. Really? really? Just give us what we came for already. Might still be worth a shot. Could be something in it for us. Just be careful. Okay? Sure. Uh, so inherently I would say higher frame rate is always better, but it's not as simple as that because you don't necessarily make everything with high frame rates in mind. Uh, a lower frame rate does a good job of disguising stuff that isn't totally up to snuff. So that's why high frame rate is tends to be something very complicated in film because the higher the frame rate is, the more real it looks. And that means anything that isn't real looks more fake. Um, see the CGI effects need to be a lot better. Uh, costumes need to be a lot better. Set design needs to be a lot better. Uh, so higher frame rate in film, while theoretically is better, I would say, it usually leads to a worse movie because they do not compensate for it. So uh, that is why I would say I've never seen a film more than 24 frames per second that I think should have been in 24 frames per second. And a lot of times games can be the same way with their cutscenes. Uh, because I think some of the cutscenes in, in this DLC don't look as good at 60 frames per second. Not because uh, the graphics are lower, which they literally are, because that's the actual option in the settings, but because it was just framed with the idea of being 30 frames per second in mind. A lot of the, the shot composition and the way the camera moves is meant to emulate like an actual person holding a camera. And when that's moved up to 60 frames per second, that effect kind of feels very weird because it's emulating a movie, but now also in 60 frames per second, which is not a thing that exists. So that effect breaks down because it wasn't designed for 60 frames per second. So that is my frame rate soapbox for the day. Uh, I want more games to have the option to play the gameplay at 60 FPS and the cutscenes at 30. Okay, basic rules, like with the Sector 5 Undercity Relative, the objective is to destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score. When the timer reaches zero, the training exercise overreach the target score to win. Okay, so this is the box game. Purple crates are more susceptible to magic. Okay. This is gonna be hard. Uh, let's put on some fire. Okay. Okay, now we'll hit this. We'll charge a fiery banishment first. Oh my god, Goofy, stop missing. Destroy this purple box, Yuffie, come on! You're killing me! A windstorm, I guess, I don't know. And then, Art of War on this one. 
Come on, we're running low on time. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. This one will use fiery banishment on. Okay, and art of war here. Oh, that wasn't very good. Higher frame rate uh, is always better but than graphics, but lower frame rate can be good if developers... Yes. Uh, it all comes down to how well you're using it. It's At the end of the day, it's a tool. Uh, for game for actual gameplay, higher frame rate is always desirable. Yeah. Uh, this is a test for Stormtrooper arm. Um, so are these like the rewards? Granted. So did I get the best? No, I didn't get the best. I want to get the best. There's probably a trophy in, in that. And I, I can see some clear room for improvement there, because I did kind of mess that up. Because I'm not as good as, at the game as I was playing as well. I wonder if I need to change elements. Okay, this time we're not going to spend a million years on these two boxes. What is wrong? Less damage. Cause I didn't equip fire. Oh my god! I did worse this time. Maybe I should have equipped fire. Trouble grades are weaker to magic. Yeah, but it's not letting me use my spells, which is weird. Maybe that does mean I have to equip fire. Uh... Like, I have a fire spell equipped, but it wouldn't let me use it. So that that does mean that I need to change to the, to the fire ninjutsu. So 
that's like an instant kill for those boxes. Yeah, it, it will not let me use spells, so... Does this count as wind magic? Well, I messed that up, so... Uh, let's hit this one with Fiery Banishment. That was supposed to be... Okay, we're doing a lot better this time. Especially now that I understand the whole, like, ninja, like, rush thing to get the orange boxes, like, immediately. Okay, well, invisible wall there is just gonna ruin everything, so Art of War here. Another Art of War. Windstorm. Come on. Oh, I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. We did it. That was the highest score, right? Yes, we did it. Cool. Soldier. Ch oh, no. There's more. No. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so boxes are all in a different position, but now we understand what we're doing more. Oh my god, that was supposed to... Okay, we'll, we'll get on fire in two now. Oh my god, I feel like the lock-on is really unwieldy. Part of war. Uh, battery low. Rush over to this art of war and hit both of them. Yes, it can. Fire management. I gotta wait till I have ATV to deal with the, uh, the big boxes. Art of War. No. Oh, it's bad. I'm wasting time on this one. could definitely do a lot better on that one. Is PS5 battery really as bad as I am seeing it being? Almost every time I see someone showing off a PS5 game, I see a battery prompt. Well, it is true also that I did not charge my battery before this stream. So, I have a second one. I'm just going to go grab it. Okay, fully charged controller. Let's see how long this map this lasts. So this is gonna be the rest. I'm <laughs> hopefully not the rest of the stream. Um, hopefully not the rest of the stream. Uh, I don't see the PS5 battery being significantly worse than the PS4 one. Um, I feel like the Switch Pro controller is the gold standard. I was trying to. Start out by rushing at these orange boxes, but that backfired. So, uh, it's definitely not as good as the Switch Pro Controller, which is, has insanely long battery life. God damn it. You know what? Can I just retry? Yeah, I'm just gonna start this one over. I've. I've. Yeah. Yeah, not, not a high bar. I think PlayStation controllers just don't have very good batteries in general, so. Um, 
I don't see the PS5 controller as being particularly worse. But it's it's just not great. I don't understand the lock on. Why is she I was like staring at the purple box and she's using Nijutsu on the orange box. Valve hasn't like done anything with the orange box in years. You don't need to worry about it. Oh my god. Wait a minute. You tricked me. There's extra time right there the whole time. Alright, warp. War again. Oh my god. Hard war on this one. this kind of banishment to I forgot to put fire hopefully it's not like really groaning me I feel like I need to come up here already with ATB. I feel like that's that's the best way. It did make a sequel to Portal. That was ten years ago. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to no, not basic training. training soldier training. I'm pretty sure soldier training is the last one because there's only like two rows of Access ATB here. Granted. Occupancy limited. And I really want to. I really want to like do everything. <laughs> At least this isn't going to take as long as Fort Condor did. We can be secure knowing that. Windstorm. Windstorm was not the right choice. Now. 
windstorm, I guess. Last words on par with hold my beer. Look, we're having fun watching me scream at boxes, right? Right? I'm so close to it though. I can really feel it. That's that's why like I'm so like it's so easy to get addicted to the to like the mini games in this one. Because it's so easy to feel like you're so close. And also, like, if I just kind of be a little more patient with my attacks, it'll probably go better overall. Instead of mashing buttons. Like, I should probably hit buttons with more of a purpose. Hard war. worse that time. Damn it. Damn it. What did I do? What, how did I do worse that time? I'm not sure. I went in a lot less unga bunga. And I feel like the opposite of a, of a good thing happened. Too much time on these guys. Like, I think what I need to do is I can use the smaller ones. 
smaller ones definitely do add them up. But I need to really focus on the big, heavy ones. So the smaller ones can be good to raise ATB. But ultimately, we really just want to get as many as of the big metal threat boxes broken as we can. Okay, one more. And then we Access move on. Granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. I feel like my big problem is I keep trying to use like real attacks in the air. hitting uh, orange boxes with ninjutsu and wasting a ton of time. That might honestly be the biggest problem I have. I also need to use Windstorm more than I am. Damn, Windstorm is good for this. Oh 
Oh my god. Yeah, the, the lock-on... Yeah, I'm fighting the lock-on more than I'm fighting the boss... The, the boxes. That's like the really frustrating part of it. Anyway, I think now we can go up the elevator. Uh, nope, that only goes down. We want to go up. So what is the way up? Ah, here it is. We're making story progress again, guys. I promise you can you can watch again. Well, you did explicitly fall into a trap. Focus. Oh, I know. Spare the child being? Sure. Hmm. Are the child beams from the original? You ate it. You sound surprised. Huh? Man, I'm glad you're here. Likewise. It really helps knowing I'm not alone in all this. Yeah, same here. Oh. These beans just seem like a really weird plot thing to just come out of nowhere. I feel like it has to be a reference to the original. Right. Shall we? Returning to the planet. <laughs> well, the box mini game has given me a better understanding of Yuffie's moveset, at least. So it wasn't for nothing. Hmm. See, I don't know if these big arm cannon things that are clearly for that giant robot. I don't. I'm not 100% sure if that's the giant robot that you fight in Midgar near the end of the original FF7. And I'm also not sure if I'm gonna have to fight it in like 10 minutes. That's a scary thing to not know. Being in there? No. Set dressing. Is that Scarlet's chair? What is that? Yeah, either something to not worry about, or something to really worry about. Those look more important than the others. This has to be it. Oh, sweet baby, come to mama. <laughs> so, that's supposed to be the ultimate materia. I'm guessing that's Dirge of Cerberus guy. Like, whatever's in there, it's not the ultimate materia, or like, it is the ultimate materia, but we were wildly misled about what the ultimate materia is. So just, just to catch up everyone that maybe wasn't there on Thursday's stream, uh, I've seen the trailers for this DLC and know that the dude from Dirge of Cerberus, Weiss, is in this DLC. But I have not played Dirt to Cerberus. Now we're cooking. 
so I don't totally know his deal. Materia. That's okay, because I didn't. I also didn't totally know the deal with Crisis Core when uh, they did a shot-for-shot -shot remake from Crisis Core in Remake's original ending. doesn't want me to climb up on here yet. Or wait, am I an idiot? And it showed me, like, in the cutscene what I have to do. Do I have to go downstairs? Because there's stuff that I haven't seen downstairs. Yeah, so go down to 14. And then I didn't go up this way. So is this is this new or am I just being an idiot? <clears throat> okay, so now we're on floor 13. Gotcha. I think this is the way forward. Why are you so much louder in the surround speakers? The fact they worked with us might help both parties, but their differences aside. Like you're really loud in the surround speakers. But in the regular speakers, I can barely hear you. star no this just brings me back down to where we were what have I not done oh well now there's a thing in there maybe I'm just an idiot but I got the materia I know crisis core really expanded one scene from f7 nearly Zach getting shot yes That scene is actually... Do you care about remake spoilers? I assume anyone that's here is not worried about remake spoilers. But I guess I should make sure before I say anything. I'm not sure what I did to make that... Make that change. Man. Another stupid dud. Uh, I'll give everyone else a little time to say if they care about remake spoilers. Come on, We're here for materia, not these, dorks. <laughs> these dudes look like they're enemies from the Gonna original FF7 that I just yeah. don't happen to remember. Okay. Let's assess. Okay. okay, so I should get on lightning. This dude has no tactical data available, and that dude is the one you can take to kill the floor. So this guy, I just gotta treat like a regular enemy with electricity. And then uh, actually synergize wind storm. Oh yeah, one has a melee. Weapon. I'm dead. Items. Phoenix down. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't have ATB! I need ATB. 
I need ATB. Come on, fuck. That went really wrong. I need to reassess them. I need to hit assess again for the take them in the in the log, don't I? So here, Sonon, hit him with some swirly storm beams. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta assess again to get them in there. Well, I guess I can lightning first, so that I'm like, more efficient. Yuki's kit really does not allow you to go on the bunker. Assess and Sonon. You know, I guess we're only strong again. Let's get you proficient. Okay, now I've got a heal. Pretty bad. So we will cure up. Damn it. I need to remember when I do and don't actually have. It. Synergize Windstorm. You stutters, man. He's immune. Cool, that was a big waste of a lot. I like literally jumped right into that. Gotta get him back. Gotta get him back. Gotta get him back. How about you pull yourself together? God damn it. Maybe someday I'll be good at video games. That day is not today. just happened. Sonon's got his limit. Dance of the dragon on uh, that dude. That does more healing all the time. I'm like, not critically thinking it up. Okay. Attack core now, right? Yeah, attack core. Alright, well, uh, banishment three. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. I've learned that now. And we'll 
do regen again. Okay, that time we did it. We're good at video games now. So, have you found out what they want yet? We think so. We can't say for certain, as their behavior is erratic. But they appear to be searching for material. Excuse me? You mean to say that these savages have gone to all this trouble for materia? So far as we can tell, yes. How very dull. Be that as it may, I suppose I should talk to them. Bam. Join yourselves, I trust. Ah! All by a simple hologram. How precious. More villains need to be as cartoony and over the top as Scarlet. To listen up a little. After such a long journey, you must be so tense. Luckily, I have toys for that. All far more entertaining than this. What do you want? Oh dear. Is that any way to talk to your host? Really, though? As guests, it's more about what you want. And I think you'll find it just up ahead. Hurry now! Don't keep me waiting! So, boss, what are you thinking? That we're walking into a trap, I guess. But it's nothing we can't handle, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. I'm concerned, wondering like when when the Dirge of Cerberus guy is gonna step into the picture. I expected him to show up a lot earlier. Bench time. Scarlet, I'm trying to sit on a bench. This is where we push every piece of ordnance to its limits and beyond. Yeah, yeah, Super Saiyans, whatever. Such tests are an invaluable part of the development process. Commencing ordnance testing. Select ordnance type to deploy for this trial. Is that Yuri Lowenthal? Got one of the most expensive actors in the industry and made him do that? Selection confirmed. Initiating ordinance deployment. Oh, wait, I didn't procedure. realize I was actually making a choice. Hold on. When, when, when was my last auto save? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, auto save was like just now. Yes, 1.56 p.m.? Yes, it's 1.58 p.m. I'm scared, okay? I don't know what I just chose. Is all that just for an AP up? Welcome to our state-of-the-art weapons testing facility. Okay, let's actually pay attention this, this is time. This where we push every piece of ordnance to its limits and beyond. Such tests are an invaluable part of the development process. Go on, see where the magic happens. Commencing ordnance testing. Select ordnance type to deploy for this trial. Okay, so monsters or guns. Yeah, like nothing wrong with. There's nothing wrong with like a a, a villain that is like that plays a lot into like having compelling motivations and everything, and like even sympathetic villains sometimes. But I feel like we've gotten to a point where people are, like afraid to make a villain that's just stupid fun. So I I always feel really like I want to see more of them. I mean, like Se Sephiroth isn't a stupid over the top villain even in Final Fantasy VII. He's he's a very compelling villain with understandable motivations, but like. And I, and I like that a lot. I like Sephiroth a lot. 
but it's also good to have that balance. Because in the same game, here we have Scarlet. She's just fucking insane. Oh, no. These things. Oh, no. I remember these. They're, like, immune to everything. God damn it. Resistant to physical attacks is still pelted with magic. God damn it. Fuck. I chose the wrong... I chose the wrong door. Uh, Zoneblade 1 had their first major arc villain be the cartoonishly evil. Yes, and he also, like, he was cartoonishly evil, and also still, like, pretty seriously threatening at the same time. That's a game with a really good balance. Here, I'm pelting you with magic. Do you need me to, like, literally hit you with spell attacks? Because I don't have wind materia. But... Well, you look like you're weak. This should work, too. No, it won't. That doesn't count as magic, even though it was imbued with wind. Uh, I don't know. Is this gonna do anything? Let's see. No. No. Can't change materia in the middle of battle either. So here, fire. Oh, I'm actually able to hit him now. I hate those enemies. I hate those enemies so much. Analysis concluded. Continuing trial. Select ordnance type to deploy for this trial. I'm guessing that's gonna be a cutter. I don't actually know what that is. I'm curious. Confirmed. Initiating ordnance deployment procedure. Subjects approaching test site. Ah, uh, that might be Kyle McCarley, not Yuri Lowenthal. Beginning analysis. Have I assessed these guys? No, I am not. I gotta fill my monster log. Uh, it's there, you just fill the. Uh, spider. Uh, Sonon, do your thing. Okay, so he just hit proficiency. Actually, let's sit by skull. And synergized art of war. ATB. Come on. Do your thing. Oh god, that was terrible. I was trying to time it perfectly so I could use the brumal form. It it didn't work. That's on me. That's my fault. God, it took off my lightning. Don't, don't die before you get healed. In fact, use your limit. And then I'll focus on this dude. Get 
carry TP up someone on. go that feels so good like actually getting a moment in where I understand the mechanics and it just works out not fighting those dudes selection confirmed initiating ordinance deployment procedure yes I mean that way or that way that way yep Subjects approaching test site. This place is huge. Test will begin momentarily. Like the areas in Remake are all very vertical. Beginning analysis. Okay, I don't need to assess these guys, thank god. Immediately put on. Let's go win this time. Come on, synergize wins so far. And actually, Sonon, I forgot to put on your other weapons so we can start getting your analysis uh, Your proficiency up. Try. Select or next type to deploy for this try. Oh god, is that gonna be the Gundam guys? This is probably the Gundam guys. I don't know, I don't know what this is. I'm curious. Selection confirmed. Initial Okay. And so on, let's get your other weapon in. Okay, it's two weapons. What do we want more? Okay, so you can draw aggro. Or you can focus. Let's try focus. Let's also set his upgrade to automatic. Um, right. Do you do that from this screen? No, I think I do it from the other screen. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ordnance deployment procedure. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. That thing looks stupid. I love it. Beginning analysis. It's been long enough since I played the original FF7 now that I don't I have I don't have a lot of these enemies like committed to memory. I assume most of these are actually from the original FF7. Uh, once it charges up enough electricity, it unleashes a highly potent special attack for a short time after this attack that you is susceptible to staggering. In fact, it's the only time its stagger gauge can be filled. Okay. Uh, some fighting spirit. Uh, let's go with lightning. I thought I had more ATB. Test, huh? So, boss fight. Or, like, at least a mini boss fight. Oh, quite a triceratops. I can't wait to see Triceratank. Subjects approaching test Remake part two is gonna be so good. Test will begin momentarily. This dude definitely looks familiar. Be 
beginning analysis. That's this guy's just a Kirby enemy. Is he rushing me? Should I brumal form? No, nope, shouldn't have brumal formed there. No, mistimed that. Assess. Okay, pelting with repeated magic attacks or it's susceptible to staggering. Well, can easily deflect frontal attacks into various vulnerable. Okay. Let's get ATB and we'll put on ice. And now we'll hit it with a regular fire spell. Oh, that's my weapon, okay. And let's hit it with more fire. Now it's staggered. Get the shit out of it. Art of War. There we go. There'll be enemy with a spike bumper. Seems I may have underestimated how resilient you ninjas can be. May have? How about digital tag? <laughs> you woo giants. So feisty. But let's see how you fare against what I have in store for you next. It's quite the treat, I assure you. Only the best for our honored guests, after all. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Allergies are acting up a lot today, and I'm not sure why. Gotcha. Ooh, time for a bench. Wait, I missed some of her dialogue because I was uh, dealing with allergies. Did she? Am I about to fight Diamond Weapon? Is that what she said? Oh, okay. Where are we? That thing can't be operational, can it? That's an odd assumption to make. Long last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. <laughs> You've performed admirably. Quit acting all superior. Ah, we both okay. know you're afraid of us. <laughs> Is that so? Well, maybe I am. You should know there's more where we came from. Lots more. And you'll never see them coming. Just imagine a whole clan of ninjas landing on your doorstep. <laughs> oh my! We must do something right away. Well, you can't. Don't say that. Won't you at least give us a chance? Yeah, this thing looks super operational. What the? Allow me to present the latest innovation. It's very odd to assume that it was not. Designed by yours truly. This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. The Crimson Mare. Not for much longer, eh, Right on. They're as good as scrap. Oh, God damn it. You take care of those. Bring it on. I need to assess. Let's see what this thing's about. Is it a final? I've never played FF6. Uh, it's pilot, uh, blood red battle armor for Scarlet's personal use. Uh, when this pilot is, when its pilot is incapacitated, it'll be susceptible to staggering. How does it? How do I incapacitate the pilot? Oh, oh, I can. Okay, I can target Scarlet specifically. She's weak to fire. Oh, okay, interesting. Scarlet is weak to fire but her battle armor is resistant to fire. I think what I'll do is I'll change my ninjutsu to lightning and 
when when I have ATV, I'll just hit Scarlet with my fire materia. So on, you keep focusing on uh, on the sentries. No! Oh god, I just put on fire ninjutsu by accident. Okay, guess we're targeting Scarlet. Something hardcore. Now we're switching it to lightning. Sewn on. So, fire materia against Scarlet. Yep. Sewn on. Let's get more fighting spirit. You focus Scarlet, I'll, I'll take the mech. Uh oh. I just. No. Fire materia against Scarlet. God damn it. Rules. Summon gauge is charging. I would like these things to not be an issue. Thank you. God damn it. Summon Ramu. Here we go. Our mind. first summon of the DLC. Battle cutscenes are really cool. Uh, Rama, you focus on the on that arm. I'll focus on the other. Or die immediately. That can happen too. That was some fortuitous timing for Rami to run out. Please. 
Oh, she's gonna get more weapons. Wait. Hold on, gotta catch up on the chat real, chat real quick. It does look a stylized Magitek armor from FF6. Very interesting. Very interesting. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Uh, I sure hope I'm winning. There's a good chance I'm not. Now, now Scarlet's just monster hunter. She's about to use a rocket launcher. You know what? I'll save my ATB for Brumo. You just go for Scarlet. Oh, damn it, I died, so I don't have uh, lightning. Uh, let's hit Scarlet with fire again. That was the time to use it. Okay. Room of four. Room of four. Fire on Scarlet. Don't like this. Okay. Oh, we interrupted it. Thank God. Thunderous Banishment! Staggered! ATV! Synergy! Art of War! There we go, we got her down. Fist fight me, Scarlet, come on! Fist fight me. Hello. Hmm. My, my, my. How the tables have turned. Yuffie, do you think for a second there's not like a million guards just like waiting to surround you? <laughs> Proud of yourself, little savage. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh no, this is gonna be Dirge of Cerberus, boy. Yeah, I don't know anything about Weiss Steel. This is a surprise. Or Nero. Is this what people who never played FF7 felt like when they when Sephiroth first appeared at the beginning of remake? Chadley, what the fuck? <laughs> when will Shinra learn? There is no replicating you. They ought to know better. <laughs> Looking forward to this. I am. 
It has been too long since my last hunt. What you do? I need to just play Tell the entire us. compilation of FF7 before. Is this how it's done in Wu Tai? Before part two comes out, don't I? Get what you want. That's enough, Sonon. I got this. All right, lady, out with it. Tell us where you're hiding the new materia. Don't play dumb now. We know you've been cooking up something super powerful. Well, well. Wu Tai must have some highly skilled intelligence operatives. That. Or we have a mole in our midst. What was? Oh, sure, go ahead. All right, but make it quick. Uh, this is, is this where he's gonna die because he's not in the rest of FF7? You are correct that we're in the process of creating an exquisite new materia. However, it is far from complete. Yeah, right. You must think I'm stupid. Would I lie to you? Regrettable though it is, a lot, other yeah. plans have been deemed a higher priority. What other plans? <laughs> well, just between you and me, my colleagues and I are going to drop plate number seven on the slums. And then we're going to be on Avalanche and Bowtie. Why is she just giving all this info away? You're gonna drop a plate? And? Oh dear. I think your friend might have run into trouble. Aren't you going to save him? <laughs> Quickly now! <laughs> yeah, but I gotta do, I gotta do, I gotta break these boxes first. Those boxes are already broken. Hey, dude. Saving budget not needing to reanimate Nero's lip flaps. God, I'm just, I, I'm so worried that this game's gonna be like, well, you mean you don't know everything about Weiss and Nero already? I don't even know if Nero, I know that Nice, I know, I know that Weiss is from Dirge of Cerberus. I don't know, I don't even know if Nero is. Fuck is that? Holy shit! Deep ground, so oh god, is deep ground is deep ground the Dirge of Cerberus place. Is this where Dirge of Cerberus starts to come up? Showing them after their invisibility wears off will make them more susceptible to staggering. I should have actually played Dirge of Cerberus like I was planning to. Hey, Sonon, can you? Uh, I guess... I guess if I can cure it. Now I'm gonna cure. Now I'm gonna cure up. The game is expected to have working knowledge of everything. Yeah. I think that was... So, as much as I love uh, Part 1 of Remake, that was its biggest flaw. Uh, I don't think it's a problem when you're like low-key expected to have played previous stuff but it is one it is definitely a problem when it's like not clear uh this is a big problem i had with mandalorian season two for example where uh it was mandalorian is basically becoming a third dave filoni show so it's it's like the sequel to clone wars and rebels 
And I don't have a problem with the concept of this show is a sequel to this other show and you're expected to have seen the other show. That's not a problem. The problem is that uh, I shouldn't be finding that out in the middle of season two. Like a season and a half into this Star Wars show that has been more or less standalone and had only asked me to see the movies before that point. Now it's being like, well, I don't know why you didn't watch these cartoons beforehand. And that's kind of the problem that I'm feeling with Remake. Where it's fine if they want me to have played everything else in the compilation. I should just probably know that before I'm fighting the final boss. Okay, what's the reason this is a cutscene? Why isn't this gameplay? What's about to happen? go back out there but I don't think we've got a choice I don't even think baking it into the plot is a problem it's just they're baking it into the plot uh, while simultaneously going hey I know you've been playing this game for like 50 hours already but now we're gonna tell you that you should have played this other game first it's a matter of expectations um, if the, if they had really pitched this as a it, basically it's the problem of them being coy with remake actually secretly being a sequel because when you do that you have the problem where it's like you told me that I would be able to start here and that was a lie if you had told me that this was going to be a follow up or if you had even like you didn't even have to necessarily spoil that it was an alternate timeline. You could have just told me that up front that there were going to be elements from the compilation that I was that I was expected to know. But also some of the stuff that Nomura has said about Sephiroth specifically does a lot to make me really think he doesn't understand how to intro how to exposit a character. Like, Nomura's com comments on why they wrote Sephiroth the way that they didn't remake. Like, he genuinely doesn't understand that there are people that don't know Sephiroth's backstory and motivations. Like, he actually said in an interview they didn't go into that in remake. Despite his prominence in remake. Because everyone knows it already. Which is just not true! And, like, I'm looking at this dude, and I don't even know if this is a new character. I legitimately don't know if I'm supposed to know who this is. Dirge of Cerberus 2? Underground research facility. I mean, the underground research facility is from Dirge of Cerberus. These guys were in Remake? I don't... I don't remember these things from Remake. Were they in the lab? Uh, loot to ice. Were they in... Were they in the Dirge of Cerberus lab? that underground lab you visit after the plate drop that is that is from dirge of cerberus uh and actually while i'm while i'm on that topic the the way that the dirge of cerberus lab was used in 
the base game for Remake was actually pretty good, I would say. It is a clear and obvious Dirge of Cerberus reference to anyone that would be familiar with that game's plot, but it also doesn't feel like it expects me to know things that I don't. And I definitely got the impression that I'm supposed to know who Vice is. Now, my follow-up is that this feels like it's specifically follow- This feels like it could be specifically following up on the appearance of the Dirge of Surface facility in Remake. And if that is the case, then that- That could be overall a lot- a lot more palatable. Because it does- It's not necessarily a follow-up on things that I- don't know, but I'm expected to. So much as it is a follow-up on this one particular section in Remake. And if they if they lean into that take a bit more, then it would be fine. I think I think I'm preemptively judging it more than I should. But in fairness, I think that's because the way that they did Sakharov and the whispers doesn't give me a lot of confidence that they're going to explain who Weiss is. Oh, how convenient. Is that Genova? That looks like Genova. Like, it kind of looks like the Genova fight in Remake. Having a good day? about it, I think that I'm being a little unfair and just assuming that they're not going to explain a lot of stuff. And the reason that I'm that I am being unfair like that is because of how I feel they failed to do that in, in the face. I do not want to like preemptively indict them for that. charge my ATP to full and have Rami do his big super attack. Oh no. Rami, use your big super attack on the projector. Some of the thing again. This is an interesting fight. All right, Ramu, we'll do your big thing again. I'm sure Twitch Bitrate is loving this attack. I'm sure it's having a great time right now. Steal his right arm. I'm gonna hit the right arm. Alright. 
Mamu's finishing move. Yeah, waiting for the credit roll to not, uh, to not indict. Yeah. If they don't explain shit about Weiss, then yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna go off on them. But I'll give them the benefit of the doubt for now, and assume that they might. You can chalk. Uh, Mist is still out. So. Here, let's use Synergize the Heart of War. I'm gonna use Ice Management. This is probably a bad idea. I'll probably be healing. But. Affected area will probably get to counter. Okay, so just don't attack him during the Venus. God damn it. So I'm dead. So close. No. So close. Uh, cast regen. Uh -oh. Hey, Sonon, can you uh, do a thing real quick? Thank you. Take out that right arm. It's about some easy drill. Do ice Spanish man. God. This is fire on the right arm. Not a bad fight, to be honest. Now, can we please get out of here already? Uh, and there's a bench. Just a, a casual time to sit and uh, relax while we're being actively hunted by Shinra. You know, everyone just needs some time to chill. Could have done this indeed. I'm glad they left a trail this. leading right to them. I doubt they're here to help. All about that R and R. How's it going? I I'm Yuffie. What's your name? Oh, that's right. You're not gonna tell me, because you're written by Tetsuya Nomura. Subjects on site. It's time. Initiate the TVA field test. Sir. This feels like it wouldn't be good for employee turnover.
Nero is in fact from Dirge of Cerberus. Can't blame a girl for trying. Now, let the games begin. With this company, it's only policy. Which leaks still push over. Also interesting to know that that means he cannot die in this. At least not yet, I don't know. The whispers have the whispers haven't been killed yet, so. Near the Sable, he's capable of manipulating darkness. Powerborn corrupted enemy. Energy uses. Okay. So, he's just gonna be a pretty straight fight. Mining talents. I don't have ATB, I'm worried. He's. Bring it on! Start, I guess. I wanna save an ATB for the first one. Employee turnover, if I'm being honest. Where were we? I don't know what this crap is, but it's definitely not. Uh, Ben. Uh, <laughs> Man, that piano's getting loud.
shouldn't have taken chakra off UV. Fuck. Ramu. This will blow your mind. Your server's really first person shooter. Okay. <laughs>
There we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Somehow, I think he's not dead. Call it a hunch. Awesome. <sighs> Don't want to spoil the moment, but we should probably get going. But I'm so tired. Yeah, I, 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 I'm like not <laughs> physically able to read the that whole message right now. Uh, I can only see the version of the chat that's actually, like, you can visibly see on screen right now. And there's a lot happening in the game at the moment. Uh -huh. Oh, is this is where Sonon's gonna die. It must be really close to the end if they're killing Sonon now, though, because he's he is kind of a major part of the gameplay, so... hard. Maybe, maybe Yuffie runs into air. Yeah, Sonon literally who, that's kind of true. But also, like, it, it, it is just a short DLC side story, so I don't, I don't mind that it's kind of got underdeveloped characters. I don't think this is, like, bad, I don't think this is badly written. I'm fine with them quickly introducing a character who ultimately does very little before having an ending like this, because it, it is ultimately a, a very short, self-contained story. You also just kind of expect they're not they're not bringing their A game to a DLC.
Oh, we're gonna have to, like, fight his corpse. Is the music supposed to be super distorted? It does not sound distorted to me. Try refreshing. Twitch does that sometimes. This is pre-rendered, because it's 30 frames per second. Oh, this is gonna be the plate drop. Plate's about to drop. That's why it's pre-rendered. Catch she cowards. <laughs> yeah, I feel I feel like to some extent FF7 and remake, uh, not not really remake. I think remake kind of gives it the the seriousness it deserves. But I feel like original FF7 is kind of very nonchalant about how uh, how they just do a 9-11. Wait, is this the end? Was that the final boss? Don't think I can do this alone. The amazing Yuffie wants you. Join her team and the sky's the limit. Yeah, I saw people, I saw people online, like on Twitter, be like, oh man, that ending, I want to talk about that ending, how great, like... Uh... Yeah, for, for, for a DLC side story, it's fine. I just don't understand why people were reacting that way. Oh, well, I guess this is why they were reacting that way. Hey, Barrett? Were you really walking the whole way? Yep. <sighs> Calm's still pretty far, though, isn't it? Another full day, give or take. Question. When my mom says a full day, she means from the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed. But for me, it means from the time you get up in the morning all the way through till the time you get up the next morning. So, which is it for you? Gotta go with Elmira on that one. Whew, that's a relief. Is it, though? <laughs> Cloud, bet you've had to hoof it from sun up to sundown tons of times. This is all just same old, same old, right? That's right. But even so, we're all gonna need to stop and rest. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy, but don't worry, because I'm here You gonna to say anything, Red? <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is! Red, you gonna say anything? <laughs> Alright, everyone, let's stop here for a minute. Leader's orders. Now breathe in that fresh air. Fuck, I love Barrett. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. Let's, uh, save it for later, when we're not so close to Midgar. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Blocked scene? What's about to happen? Like this? Yep, just like that. 
Why did it go to a blocked scene in the middle of the cutscene? Who's about to appear? No way! A car! Is that just the, the chocobo farmer, dude? That's where they do the flashback. So I was right then. Remake Part 2 is going to open with the flashback to at Sephiroth at Nibelheim. Where's a roof when you need one? Gonna be okay? Should be, but weird. My stomach's in knots. That's its way of telling you it's hungry. Let's move! So this is in the other timeline now, or is this a flashback? It's been a while, huh? Long time no see. This is in the. I think this is the other timeline. How you been? Listen. Hey. Uh, Granted, I haven't played Crisis Core yet. I know there's a scene in Crisis Core where he goes to the church. So maybe this is a flashback, but I think this is the other timeline. I'm back. <laughs> Wait. Are these refugees from the plate drop? It is Zack not in an alternate timeline? Or is that Advent Children? Oh, now we can just go fight Weiss? What the fuck? Okay, weird. Okay. That's intermission, I guess. Uh, Advent Children did not have anything like that. Okay. I th okay. I I seem to remember a scene in Advent Children with a lot of people in the in the church, but I might be wrong. Uh so Dr. Dad, you said that you don't you 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 may not know this uh because you said that you didn't pay attention to anything in remake. Uh people gave ample time. I I I gave people ample time earlier to say if they cared about remake spoilers. Uh so I am about to spoil the ending of remake part 1. Uh, if anyone cares. Uh, so, uh, at the end of Remake Part 1, there's a shot-for-shot shot remake of the the ending scene of Crisis Core right before the final uh, battle with Zack. And Remake has this whole subplot going about the whispers, these, these ghosts that are ensuring that events play out the same way they did in the original Final Fantasy VII. Uh, anytime something deviates from that, they they go in and change it uh, to make sure that it happens the same way it did originally. And 
when you go when you're fighting Sephiroth at the end of Final Fantasy VII, we see a like the camera moves over to that scene from Crisis Core with Zack fighting the Zack about to fight all the Shinra troops with whispers all around him, and then in the ending of remake we like destroy the whispers and after the fight with sephiroth we see a cut back over to zack where he has survived and is now on and he has survived where his original death from crisis core and is now on his way to midgar with cloud so zack pretty much yes um, so Zack is alive in some timeline, but he appeared, like, are, are those refugees from the plate drop? So he's not in an alternate timeline, he's in this timeline? The one that Remake is taking place in? Or, because I remember a scene from Advent Children with people at the ch- uh, at the church, that's why I'm like, wait, is this Advent Children? And in this alternate timeline where Zack survived, he's already in the a- in Advent Children. So I don't totally know what's happening there. I don't know anything that's going on with Zack right now. I think it was flooded. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was the ending scene. After the Sephiroth fight, when everything... Everyone was there to, like... Okay, yeah, so Advent Children will rule that one out. So, the assumption was that Zack surviving was occurring in an alternate timeline and taking place separately from the events of Remake. But, he gets to the church, and there appear to be refugees from the plate drop, and Aerith is not there. Which implies he is not in an alternate timeline. He is in the remake timeline. So where is the cloud that he came back to Midgar with? Like we physically in the end of in the end of remake part one, we physically see him with Cloud walking into Midgar. Yes, yes. It, it, the remake timeline is an alternate timeline. That is correct. But there is also potentially another alternate timeline. So it's confusing to talk about. There, like a third timeline where Zack survived. But apparently now that's not the, a third timeline. Even though it can't, it can't be, it can't be this timeline. Yeah, no explanation for Weiss and, and Nero. It's not the worst thing in the world, I think, because the deep ground is in Remake Part 1 that this is a, D- a DLC for. But they don't call it the deep ground in that. I don't know. I don't know. The problem is that Remake is really good when it's being a remake. When it's doing Final Fantasy VII stuff, it's really good. When it is just retelling the events of Final Fantasy VII, and when it is just expanding on what Yuffie happens to be doing right now. God damn it, internet's dropping. Are we back? Internet dropped for a second. Are we back? I think we're back. Yeah, okay, we're back. Um, No, we're not back. Are we back? Can you guys can you guys hear me? Am I back? Are we good? Yes, okay, we're good. We're back. 
Okay. Um. Oh god, it still says it's dropping so many frames though. Let me turn down the bitrate for a second. I'll just turn down the bitrate to three thousand for now, because we're we're at the end. We don't need we don't need graphics. So I guess sort of I can see I can see you guys. Just I don't know what's going on with the internet right now. Is it stuttering? Are we stuttering right now? I just turned down the bit rate, so the quality probably dropped a little bit. But we're not stuttering or anything. No one's saying anything, which is making me worried. Okay, well now it says my connection's now Twitch says my connection is excellent, but OBS still gives me red. Now it's orange. Now it's okay. Yeah, looks like whatever was happening was ah. Pa uh, now it's red again. Okay, it looks like whatever happened was has passed now. Um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, when it's just when it's just retelling the events of Final Fantasy VII, and when it's just doing this side story about what Yuffie happened to be doing at the time, it's 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 fine. It's really good. It's just when they start to do their own Kingdom Hearts stuff, that's when it's uh fangs is messaging me that uh new chat messages are not showing they are uh street stream delay is happening i don't know what's i don't know what's up with the delay but like i don't maybe you i don't know if you want to refresh the page or what um or maybe it's there's just going to be this delay for a little bit but i mean at least thank god that this delay that this didn't start to happen until uh until the end but with um okay with not sticking to source material religiously but that's what i expect from a reboot a remake implies recreating the original i mean i don't even necessarily think that a, a remake needs to stick to the original religiously either i think i think that they should take the opportunity to improve anything that could be improved uh redo anything that needs to be redone um but they are making a new a new product a new a sequel it, it is rebuild the final fantasy and I don't hate that. I don't hate the idea that this is a secret sequel to Final Fantasy VII. It's just the quality of writing that we have seen from this being the sequel to Final Fantasy VII is not promising. Um, it's like I have a I have a whole huge issue with the way that they handle Sephiroth's character from a writing standpoint. Just structurally, they introduce him without any exposition whatsoever. And they remove a lot of intrigue from the original for no reason. Like, even with this Kingdom Hearts plot that they want to do, and even with the fact that they, it's it says Final Fantasy VII on the box, they have to have Sephiroth all over this game. Even with those two being th those two things being true, they still mishandle Sephiroth in big ways. They they have him all over this game, but they have him all over this game without actually doing anything. He just shows up, says a couple things that don't mean anything, and then walks out of frame. And if they want to involve Sephiroth in the early game story, then they should involve Sephiroth in the story rewrite scenes to explain who he is and make his connection to cloud matter before we just have to suddenly fight him at the end and if you want to do this timeline where zack survives then okay do your crazy 
no uh, Kingdom Hearts bullshit where Zack survives, but make it so we know who this is and we care before it happens. Uh, despite Sephiroth being the main antagonist, the real Sephiroth not being in the game outside the finale or flashbacks. Uh, yeah, um, F the original FF7, the quote-unquote, it, it, it's complicated, the quote-unquote real Sephiroth both is and is not dead. Um, he died before the games started, but then he was, uh, he was integrated into the life stream, so his essence is still there in this complicated Nomura way. Even though Nomura didn't write Final Fantasy VII. Um, so it both is and isn't him. And Sephiroth in Remake is post-FF7 Sephiroth. It is Advent Children Sephiroth, who is aware of the events of Final Fantasy VII. And he manipulates Cloud and everyone into destroying the Whispers so that he is able to change the events of Final Fantasy VII. I don't think that is a bad idea. The original Final Fantasy VII is always going to be there, so they don't have to they don't have to avoid doing something new with this story. The problem is that the, the way that they are re reinventing the story and making uh, this alternate universe sequel to it is just poorly constructed. It doesn't know whether or not it expects you to know Final Fantasy VII's story. Nomura is over there in interviews insisting that you don't have to have played Final Fantasy VII. You don't have to know all this other stuff from the compilation. You can just start here. And then you play the game, and that's just not true at all. Not remotely true. Uh, Sephiroth makes no sense if you've only played Remake. And while the idea of... While the idea of, like changing the events and making this new story out of it is not inherently bad there is so much time spent on just raising questions and yes this is part one of a of what will presumably be at least three or four parts but i've seen kingdom hearts <laughs> And I have, and I don't think that a Kingdom Hearts kind of story works for this secret alternate universe sequel idea, because Kingdom Hearts is a story all about raising questions that are never really going to be answered. It's all about the questions meaning more than the answers, and that's the problem. The problem is that all we have right now are questions when we need some sort of foundation to work with. I've seen, I've seen, I know a lot more than just those two Kingdom Hearts games, though. Like, I know the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3. And one of those two is Chain of Memories, yep. Uh, I mean, all I need to know is Chain of Memories, <laughs> frankly. Um... I just I I just don't trust Nomura as a writer to handle this well, especially because the original Final Fantasy VII was not his story. He did not direct or write Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII was directed by Sakaguchi. So it feels like I don't trust Nomura to understand why that story worked. And as far as I can tell from Advent Children, there's no reason for me to think that he does. I don't think Advent Children understands what made Final Fantasy VII work. And he just doesn't seem prepared to take on this task. So that that's what concerns me so much about where this is going. It's not that I think that they that he shouldn't have changed anything, and it's not that I think it was like disrespectful or or misleading to take to make Final Fantasy VII remake and make it a secret sequel. It's that I just don't think he's writing it very well. I've been given no reason to really care about the changes that are being made. I'm just being told that they're happening. And that whole the whole thing with Zack is just what am i supposed to think about that i have no context for what's happening there 
I don't even know if Zack's going to be in Remake Part 2. I can't say that for sure, because I don't know if he's in an alternate timeline or not. I don't know what timeline he's in. And God help people that didn't play the original Final Fantasy VII and just suddenly see Zack show up with no explanation at all. Like... It's just, it's just not good writing. Like, it's, there's basic setup payoff. This, like, literally writing 101, screenwriting 101, that he's just not doing. He seems, there's something for future, for future us to write in. Yeah, kind of. But also, I think he's just, he's too excited to start telling this story that he doesn't want to wait to build it up he wants to get right into it without doing all the work to get there and that's the problem that i have with remake it's not that i wanted them to do a faithful remake it's that nomura has these ideas that he is very interested in doing and he's too impatient to put the work in to get there so instead of putting the work in to get there, he just throws it at you like a, like a football to the face and says, okay, now buy the next one to, to have literally any idea what's going on. And that is the biggest problem with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, and it sucks that that is such a big problem, because I think that most of the game is so good. Like I said, when it is just being Final Fantasy VII, it's fantastic. And I think the gameplay is really, really good. The gameplay is immaculate. Um, I just don't... It's just so frustrating that I have absolutely no idea what Part 2 is going to look like. Like, I don't even structurally know. Because Remake is is fairly closed off and linear, because that's just what the Midgar section of the game is. It's pretty linear, and there's not a lot of exploration to be done. And then the first thing you do at the end of, like, after the events of Remake Part 1, is walk out onto a world map. So I, I don't even know what the game is going to be. I feel like it's like part two is going to open up with the Nibelheim flashback in Calm, because that just seems like a really good place to open it. But then at the same time, I almost feel like it's going to open up with Zack, and we're going to be playing as Zack for half the game. Or maybe the Nibelheim flashback won't even happen. That's what I don't like. I don't like that I have no idea what's going to happen next. I don't think it's good writing if I don't know what's going to happen next. Because good writing is set up and payoff. It should have foreshadowing. And this kind of writing feels like it's less interested with telling a complete story and more interested with surprising me. Yeah, it's also not great writing. We don't know what's going to happen next for like three years. That's a lot of time for people to come up with their own theories that are inevitably not going to be what happens because your th like theories don't matter if there's no real evidence in the work to figure out where it's going and right uh, like big tv writers movie writers game writers nowadays the single thing they're most afraid of is someone figuring out the ending which is aw that is an awful perspective to have when writing your goal as a writer should not be for should not be to make it so no one sees your ending coming because you're going to make a bad ending that doesn't fit with the rest of the story. And that's also just what I feel here. It just feels like things are just going to happen. I don't have any idea what's going to happen next and we are potentially a full third of the way through the story. Like if this is going to be three parts
Okay, I think we're back now. I was like able to see my I was able to see the connection issues screen on the very same computer that is allegedly having connection issues. That's weird. Uh, okay, once saw a TV writer said your audience should be able to figure out the ending if they try hard enough. That means you didn't pull the ending out of your ass. Yes, that is one hundred percent true. Good writing is best exemplified in mystery novels, and things show should lead to an appropriate conclusion. Yes, yes, and that is the problem that is ha going on with Final Fantasy VII remake. The problem is not like ev everyone is framing this in terms of they shouldn't mess with the original story. They should just made a, a basic remake, and I don't think that I agree with that. What I what I what I think is the problem here is that they're trying to be clever. They're trying to, they're trying to trick us. They're trying to do something grand and extravagant that, that will catch you off guard. And I don't, it's not good writing. Good writing is not doing something that your audience will never expect. They should have made a good remake first and then did a, fun twist thing later i mean they did do that it's just that the fun twist thing the fun twist thing didn't go it hasn't gone anywhere yet like if they want to tell a story about sephiroth knowing the events of final fantasy 7 in advance and trying to stop them from happening then you you kind of have to do that in the middle of a remake of final fantasy 7 but I should, like, the fact that that's what's happening isn't even really in the original part one of Remake. It's just something you have to infer based on clues that are dropped. Like, there are clues dropped that, that he knows what's going on, and clues dropped that Aerith knows what's going on. It's all clues being dropped and leaving us to work out the rest on our own. There is nothing, there's not enough in the game explaining what's happening. Yeah, it also ages awfully too because it's just... like everyone knows what it is now. No, like, how is anyone gonna get the entire last hour and a half of Remake Part One is all about catching you off guard with the fact that it's actually a sequel and that should have been the whole game should have been leading up to that I, yeah i guess it, i guess it was with the whispers but it's just it doesn't help that sephiroth is not set up well i don't know what nero is doing i don't know what weiss is doing i don't know i don't know what timeline zack is in it's just so frustrating that their their only concern is to get us talking and theorizing without giving us anything real to latch onto. It's very frustrating. <clears throat> Gotta stick those last minute hooks so you buy the next game. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. There's only so much more I could say without repeating myself. But I guess I guess that's as good a place as any to call it. Unless we want to see me finish that box game. <laughs> um or play Fort Condor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wish that I, I I would feel better if we had literally any idea what remake part two was going to be, but we just don't. And all I can do is assume the worst. All I can do is assume that everything is going to be handled as poorly as Sephiroth was, because Sephiroth is the main thing in remake part one that is different, and he's easily the worst part about it. So. Not a good first impression. Advent Children also was not a good first impression for the way that Nomura writes Final Fantasy VII. But uh, we might as well take that that take this opportunity to call it a day as I drag over 
everything we need for our conclusion. There's no music playing the game right now, so let's get this in here early. Uh, so, I don't know why I can't actually hear the music playing myself, but for our final stream of the week, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. EST, Joe is going to be coming back with more of Harvest Moon. I think he's given up trying to insist that he's actually going to marry that girl. So, but uh, more Harvest Moon tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have uh, live reactions also to the E3 Nintendo Direct on Tuesday. Uh, so if you're at all interested in that, then make sure you uh, come by, stick around for that. It's going to be me and some other members of the NWR staff. Don't know exactly who yet, but that's going to be on Tuesday. Live reactions to Nintendo Direct. And of course, there's also going to be plenty of other streams coming uh, for next week that Joe is going to talk about for the first time tomorrow. So, uh, everyone, thank you so much for coming by. I hope uh, I hope you had a good time. Uh, I, overall, I like the DLC because I like playing Remake, but I, I just went off for like 20 minutes about the story. So, yeah, uh, who knows what happens from here. Uh, so, everyone, I will call it a day there, and I will see you all next time. So, thank you so much for coming. <laughs>